Hello students. Welcome to Narang Piyu Kalas Online Classes. So this is solutions for your cumulative competitive examination. Yeah. So see question number 31. Yeah. So which of the following is strong acid? Clear ma? They have given four options here. So they are asking which one is the strongest acid. Yeah. So you already know in these three, one is the sulfur oxide acid and another one is chlorine oxide acids. Clear ma? So you know whenever different oxo acids, central atom is different. Clear ma? That time you have to see the electron activity. So here compared to the sulfur and the chlorine electron activity and the chlorine is more electron activity than the sulfur. So that's why I, if you compare here halogens, oxo acids of chlorine are more acidic than the oxo acids of the sulfur. Among these two, one is HClO3, which we have decided HClO3 and HClO4 will have more acidic character compared to the sulfur oxo acids. Clear one? Respect to sulfur oxo acids, H2SO3 and H2SO4. Clear one? Between these two, which one is more acidic? Clear one? You know already, and if it is a of compound of central atom same central atom is what it is not here same then you have to see the what it is my oxidation state if you see the oxidation state and for this it is a 5 and this is for 7 so as the oxidation number increases automatically the character also increases so that's why hl 4 it is the strong acid clear one compound of same central atoms then you have to see the Highest oxidation state. Greater the oxidation state, greater will be the acidic nature. If compounds of different central atom, then you have to see the electron activity, which electron means that time acidic nature is directly proportional to electron activity, which is having high electron activity, that is the more acidic. And 32, ammonia on reaction with excess of chlorine gives. Excess of chlorine gives. So that is two percent ammonia, you know, and HC3. That's what it is my HCl. So which one is excess? Sorry, ammonia and what it is my have chlorine. Ammonia and chlorine. Which one is excess here? Uh, on reaction with excess of chlorine. Chlorine is excess. If chlorine is excess, then I have already mentioned product NCl3 plus HCl. And if ammonia is excess, then what is the product? I said it is very very important. If ammonia is excess then what is the product you will get the ammonium chloride plus n2 so but here chlorine is excess so our option should be 1 so now 33 the number of PO bonds in what is my here P4O10 you have to draw the structure of P4O10 I already have given this picture and this is the you know P4O10 oxygens are there here oxygen and here there is a oxygen and here oxygen so how many phosphorus four phosphorus and four oxygen atoms are there here and another one is so this is the clear one clear one so this is four phosphorus six oxygen and remaining two oxygen will be double bond clear if you remove this double bond both then you will get the people who structure but they are asking people go and yeah how many bonds are there here you see PO bonds PO bonds means here in one POP bonds, three PO bonds are there, two PO bonds are there here. Means we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Six means six into two, how much? Man? Twelve. Twelve plus this is also PO bonds only. So twelve plus four, how many man? Sixteen. So this option is clear. If you want, you can calculate PO one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Clear one? Next one. You know, 34 direct question ammonium dichromate. When you heat the ammonium dichromate at high temperature, nitrogen gas will be released. So that's why 34 option 2 is the correct one. Next one. 35. See the question number 35. Bleaching action of SO2 is due to bleaching action. Clear one? I clearly mentioned that SO2. And it acts as a bleaching agent in aqua solutions. Clear one? So what it is here? And it will be converted into H2SO4 and it gives the two nation hydrogen. And these two nation hydrogens are responsible for the 
bleaching agent are reducing properties of sulfur dioxide. So it is this sulfur dioxide, it gives the two hydrogen. Suppose if it is bleaching, colored matter is there, colored matter, then and it gives the two hydrogen. So it is, it is adding two hydrogens to colored matter and it will be converted into colorless matter. So it is which one? Reduction. So that's why the SO2 is here act as a reducing agent. Clear one? Reducing property of SO2 and it act as a bleaching agent. Clear one? Next one. 36 question. You already know uh, make a uh, catalyst used in making HTS4 in contact process. What is the catalyst used in the contact process? We do O5 vanadium pentoxide. Clear one? So next one. Among the following XeO3, XeO4, XeF6 are those having same number of load pair on xenon atoms are same number of load pairs you have to calculate. The first one, what it is known here? XeO3. XeO3. So you have to calculate number of load pairs here. You have to calculate what is the number of load pairs. I already mentioned very simple trick. Xenon belongs to A group. You have to write how many electrons are here. Write 8 electrons. Clear number 1, 2, 3, 4, 8 electrons. Oxygen form, what is the oxygen valency? Two oxygen forms the two bond, either the double bond or two single bonds. Clear what it is? So oxygen forms two bonds, so that's why and xenon has to give two electrons to form a bond. Clear what? So that's why these are sigma bonds, three bond pairs, and you know this is one bond pair. This is one bond pair. One bond pair. This is for XeO3. And next one is XeO4. Clear one here? XeO4. XeOF4. XeOF4. Clear one here? So in this case, you see, in this case, xenon, same here. You have to write the 8 electrons here. Oxygen requires 2 electrons and each fluorine required 1 1 electron to form. Here also, many load pairs. Man. 1 bone pair in the same way. Calculate for XeF6. XeF6 also. And right here, 8 electrons and each fluorine required 1 electron from the genome to make a bond. So that's why here also many load pairs are there. Totally, load pairs are there. One one load pair is there. So that's why option 4 is the correct one. Next one is 38. So correct order of the ACD character is the order. So HClO, HClO2, HClO3. HClO4. I already mentioned compounds of same central atom. Clear one? They are asking a stick nature. Then what you have to see? You have to see the oxidation number. You should not see here electronegativity. Why? Because all central atoms are same here. So electronegativity will be same. You should not see. There what you have to see? Oxidation number. Calculate here. You will get plus 1 and plus 3, plus 5 and plus 7. So which is having highest oxidation state? That will be the more acidic. Next one. The reaction of chlorine with X gives bleaching agent. What is the X? This already discussed to, we have discussed in the PU class. Calcium hydroxide. Chlorine when reacting with calcium hydroxide, you will get calcium and CaOCl2 plus CaCl2 plus what it is one H2. This is the we have already discussed clear one. So this is about the main component and um, component or you know composition of the what is one yeah bleaching agent. Clear one option two is the correct one. Now if you go for poly, which of the following is not correct? Clear one. So first one uh, preparation of ozone. Second one, ozone undergo addition reactions with unsaturated carbon compounds. You already know. Unsaturated carbon compounds means what it is one? Double bonds are there. If double bonds are there, you know, if double bonds are there, then what if you add the ozone? It will, addition reaction will take place here. Ozone will be added after that. The bond will break and you will get the ketones here. Are aldehydes. That is depends upon alkene. First of all, ozonide formation takes place. That is addition. Addition of ozone on the suppose if it is double bond C is there, and this is the compound. If you add of ozone here, you will get the compound is clear one. So this is the compound. 
So uh, we have ozone and this is first ozone will be added. Addition takes place across the double bond. And after then cleavage. After then what you know get cleavage. Then you will get the you know a carbonyl compounds. The second option is carbonyl. And the sodium thiosulfate reacts with iodine to form and the sodium tetrathiodate and sodium iodide. This is also carbonyl. Because you already discussed, you already discussed this is also sodium thiosulfate Na2S2O3 reacted with iodine. What you got from here? You got here Na2S4 O6 plus NaI. Take here how many moles? Two moles. Then you will get the two moles of sodium iodide. Clear? Okay. Distribution of iodine, and we have discussed this one. And ozone oxidizes lead sulfide to lead sulfate. That is also what Lead sulfide, ozone, then what you got now here? You got here lead sulfate plus oxygen. I am not balancing here, that is the right thing here. So these all are correct. Means what is the wrong here? First of all, why? If you see here, 3 moles of oxygen, electrical discharge, then you get ozone, but this reaction is a not exothermic reaction, it is an endothermic reaction. Clear one? So, what is the where how much energy will be released here? 142 kilojoule per mole. This is the answer. Clear one? So, what is the wrong here? The wrong one is option one is the wrong. Clear one? In the following sequence of the reaction, they are asking what is the end product? What is the first one they have given? CH3Br. Which reaction? Which one it is? 41. Clear one? 41 plus number 41. CH3 Br and first we will treat this one with the KCl. Then what will we get? Bromine will be substituted by cyanide. If it is HCN, we will get isocyanide. And after that, it is hydrolysis. Acidic hydrolysis. I already said whenever cyanide hydrolysis, you will get the what it is not. Acids, then you will get CH3, CO, OH. And after that, it is B. Last one is lithium aluminium hydride. You know lithium aluminium hydride is a powerful reducing agent. It reduces acids directly into alcohol. We know the previous process A, A and A. Clear one? Alcohol oxidation, aldehyde, aldehyde oxidation you will get acid. Reduction of acids you will get aldehydes. Aldehydes reduction you will get the alcohol. If I use very strong reducing agent, then acids will be directly converted into alcohol. That is the concept here. CH3, CH2, OH. Clear one? So what is your answer now? Ethyl alcohol. And coming to the next one, 42. 42. What is the 42? Which of the following compounds will give yellow precipitate with iodine and alkali? Iodine, what is it? Alkali. I already mentioned, this is a concept of which one? Yeah. Chloroform means iodoform reaction. Clear one? So you know alcohols and alcohols and you know carbonyl compounds will give the iodoform test. Will give the what it is called? Yeah? Iodoform test. If alcohol is there and this group must be present in the molecule. CH3 CH OH. If aldehydes are there and CH3 C double bond group must be present. And if these molecules are, if alcohols are having this group and it gives the positive hydroform test, and if it is aldehydes are ketones, and CH3CO group must be present. Clear? So that is, your, uh, uh, if you see now, first one, acetophenone. What is the acetophenone formula? Acetophenone formula is and COCH3. This is the acetophenone. Clear? Man? Next one. A methyl acetate. Acetate means what? Ester. Ester will not give only what I mentioned here. Only alcohols and carbonyl compounds. Carbonyl compounds means either aldehydes or ketones. And you know methyl acetate means it is ester. It won't give any iodoform test. Amides. Acetamide. Amide. It amide also will not give any test. Propane. What is known as propane problem? Propane means what is known? CH3, CH2, CH3. Propane means what it is known? It is alkane. Is there any CH3CO group or CHOH group? No. So that's why. And the first one is the answer because this compound is having CH3CO group. This is means and 42 option 1 is the Next one.
Coming to that, question number 43. Clear no? Ah, see this one. Alkyl halide is equal to a dry Az2O it produces. Clear no? Alkyl halides. Alkyl halides. Treated with dry Az2O. We have two reactions. One is alkyl halides reacted with moist Az2O and another one is dry Az2O. If you take dry Az2O, ethers are the products. And if you take moist Az2O, alcohols are the products. Clear? Me? So that is your answer should be what is why here dry ether? Dry ether if you take RCL and two moles we have to take and it will react with AZ. This is dry AZ. AZ2. Clear? Me? So then what will happen? Here AZCL and here AZCL. What is left here? R O R. That we want what we call ethers. Clear? Me? If moist AZ uh, two moments, it is in the form of silver hydroxide. Then what we will get? We will get ROH plus AZ. So that's why here alcohol and here are the others. Clear me? Next one, 44. Isopropyl bromide on which reaction? Clear me? So this is isopropyl bromide. What is isopropyl bromide? CH3, CH, CH3. This group we will call as isopropyl group. Isopropyl bromide in the Uj reaction. You know Uj reaction how many molecules, how many alkyl halides we have today? Two moles of alkyl halide. So again, two moles of sodium plus same and CH3, CH3. Clear me? So then what the compound you will get you see? And ACL and then we are removed. Then combine these two, you will get the CH3, CH, CH3, and here C, CH3, and CH3. This is the molecule. Clear? So what we can write that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, comma, 3, dimethyl, you get. So that is the answer. So option 3 is the correct one. Clear? Next one. Coming to the part B5. Identify Z, final product they are asking. The first one is C2H5I. C2H5I means I can simply write CH3, CH2I. Alkyl iodide. Treated with alcohol and water. Alcohol and water. Clear? Alcohol and water. Next one. Next one. Alkaline ketone. Clear? Alkaline ketone. You know, whenever there is alcoholic ketone, aqueous ketone means substitution. Alcoholic ketone means what? Elimination. One hydrogen, one I will be removed. Then we will get the alkene is the product. Clear one? So after that, it is treated with bromine. Bromine means what is my addition reaction? Clear one? So what is the addition reaction? We will get CH2Br and we have CH2Br. And after that, treated with what is my KCN? If you treat it with KCN and substitution reaction, then you will get CH2Cn and we have CH2Cn. So option should be option two is the correct one. Next one, party six. Coming to the party six, which one of the following species will be most reactive in a second reaction? You know, in the uh, primary alkyls, primary alkyl halides involved in the second reaction very 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 fast. So if you see the first one is a primary alkyl halide and the second one, second one also primary alkyl halide. But nearby there are so many bulky groups. See what this is. CH3, they have given CH3, CH2, CM. Means what they have given? This is CH3, CH2, CM. But the second one you see, second one they have given here there is a CH3, here there is a CH3, and here there is a CH3, CH2, CM. This is also primary alkyl halide. This is also primary alkyl halide. But you know, in the SN2 reaction, nucleophile attack takes place from which side? Ma? Back side. But at this, uh, means it has to come, nucleophile has to come from the back side to attack. But here, which group is there? Very, very, very big bulky group is there. So that's why, and here, nucleophile easily cannot attack on this alpha. Clear? Ma? So, in the even though both are primary alkyl halide, 
but nearby living group and here this is chlorine is living group and here is CH2 group and nearby that there, there is a very big bulky group is there so it hinders the attack of nucleophile from the back side on the chlorine attached carbon so that's why here SN2 reaction is slow and here it is very fast and remaining they have given both are you know secondary uh, secondary alkyl valid secondary alkyl valid means they are less reactive towards the SN2 See the question number 47. Clear So 47. So they are asking in the group of isomeric alkyl halide, the order of boiling point. You know, boiling point as the chain length increases automatically and one over forces of attraction increases, then boiling and melting points also increases. Clear ma? Chain length increases, boiling points increases. Branching increases, boil surface area decreases, so that's why and existing of Van der Waals extent of extent of uh, existing of Van der Waals forces also decreases. Clear one? Then melting and boiling also decreases. Simple this is simple technique. As the chain length increases, melting and boiling points increases. Clear one? Specifically boiling points and branching increases. Boiling points decreases. Clear one? So that's why if you are going from primary to secondary to tertiary branching increases branching increases means automatically what will happen now? boiling points decreases so that's why primary alkyl halides will have high boiling points compared to the secondary and tertiary okay, that is 47 uh, 4 is the option next one 48 okay, so 48 small conclusion ethyl chloride on heating with azcm form compound a okay, you know ethyl chloride C2H5Cl treated with which one? AZCN with KCN cyanide with AZCN isocyanide NC. Clear one? NC plus what you will get one? AZCN and this is A but they are not asking what is A. They are asking the functional isomer of A is. What is the functional isomer of A they are asking? You know, functional isomers means cyanides and isocyanides are functional isomers. Alcohols and ketones are, you know, functional isomers. Clear? So, like that, here, what it is one here? Cyanides and isocyanides, C2H5, Cn and C2H5 and C are functional isomers. So, that's why option 3 is the correct one. Clear one? Next one. Coming to the question number 49. Ethyl chloride on reaction with lithium aluminum halide gives compound A. Gives what is my yeah? Compound A. Ethyl chloride C2H5Cl and treated with lithium aluminum hydride. Lithium aluminum hydride. Then what you will get from here? You will get the compound is X. Compound what is my X? Reduction. Which it will provide the hydrogen. Then what will happen? Halides will be converted into alkanes. It will provide hydrogen isma. HCl will be removed as a HCl, one hydrogen will be added. Then what will we get man? C2, H6, alkane. Clear? And X is the product. The product on chlorination with one mole of Cl2 in the presence of light gives an ordinary temperature and Y. What is the Y? Again, it is treated with one mole of chlorine in presence of H new. Then what will we get man? Chlorination. Chlorination means what will we get man? C2H5 and here what is it from CL? Again, you are getting the first one. All right, all right. Next one, question number 50. The best method for conversion of alcohol into alkyl halide by treating alcohol with so many times we have discussed it. So, CLD is the best method for the conversion of alcohols to alkyl halide because remaining products along with alkyl halide, sulfur dioxide, and HCl gas will be released. And those are what it is one yeah? here. Uh, gas molecules, then purification technique is not required for the purify the alkyl chlorides. Clear one? Next one. And if, if you see the 51 question number, among the following set of reactant, which one produce any soul? Which one produce what it is one yeah? here? Any soul. See the 51. Which one produce any soul? Clear one? Any soul, what is the formula of any soul? Any soul formula is. And OCH3. On the engineering OCH3 is there, the compound we will call it as a anisole. 
first one is the not correct one because there is no benzene ring in the first option second option you see second option uh, they have given phenol phenol first treated with phenol they have taken is treated with NaOH phenol is treated with NaOH then what do you get now? you will get the sodium phenol side minus N or it is not plus and after that it is treated with what it is now? methyl iodide very quickly will prove iodine here so what will happen when deep profile is there and if you close with it subject social reaction then what we get now? you will get the carbon is here OCH3 and the sodium and iodine will be more as a NaOH so this is the option which we can prepare any soul option 2 is the correct one remaining we cannot prepare because not all FeCl3 FeCl3 when reacting with the phenol it will be totally converted into violet color so it is not clear one next one also toline toline and uh, CH3COCl so they have given toline and what it is manja CH3COCl what is that uh, what is this one AL CL of the SIHN it is you know uh, CH3 group is there means Electron donating group, electron donating group is there on the benzene ring, it is ortho and para directing group, but the para product is the major and para to the what is my ortho. Uh, but here you are not getting any soul here. So option 2 is the correct one. Among the following ethers, which one will produce methyl alcohol on treated with hot concentrated HI? Clear what? Ether cleavage. So many times we have discussed this question. 52 clear so which of the following on treated with the uh, hot concentrated HI O HI and it gives them methanol first one CH3 CH2 and CH CH3 and O CH3 it is treated with which one man? HI I already mentioned here if any means primary secondary groups are present in the ether they follow the which reaction man? SN2 mechanism. They follow the SN2 mechanism. If any one of the group is a tertiary group, then the ether cleavage with the HI follows the SN1 mechanism. Clear one? You know that in this case, here this is a secondary group and this is a sequent methyl. So there is no tertiary group here. So that's why it follows the which mechanism? SN2. SN2 means nucleophile. Which one is the nucleophile? I minus. I minus. Attack takes place on which group? Which is small group means less bulkier group. On that one, HI attack takes place. Iodine at, means I minus attack takes place here. It will attack and this one will move towards this. Then what you are getting? You are getting CH3I. You are not getting methanol here. CH3, CH2, CH, CH3, OH, and you are getting what is known CH3I. Clear by this? Next one. Second option if you see, second option if you see, here CH3 and here also CH3, CH3, more CH3 plus HI. But here which one is there? Tensile group is there. Tensile group is there means this bond will break because tensile carbocation has to form. Carbocation has to form this bond will to move towards the oxygen. Then carbon gets the which one? Positive charge. And oxygen gets the negative charge. And here positive and here negative. We are there will be a negative charge on oxygen and there is an attraction here sorry we have to write arrow on this side and this will attack here then what are we getting one? CH3 COH so option 2 is the correct one remaining 2 options there is no tertiary group so option 2 is the correct one next one 53 the most suitable reason for the conversion of alcohols to aldehyde so what is the reagent one? PCC is the best reagent. Clear one? The correct arm of dehydration of alcohol is. Dehydration of alcohol is what is the correct order one here? Dehydration of alcohols. Tertiary alcohols undergo dehydration very far compared to the secondary and compared to the primary. Dehydration means what it is one? First it has to form what it is one? Dehydration of ethanol to ethene. Ethanol to ethene, alcohol to means ethanol to ethene means what is the intermediate there? Carbocation is the intermediate. So, which alcohol forms the carb stable carbocation? That alcohol involves the dehydration reaction very fast. 
so tertiary alcohol will form the tertiary carbocation which is a more stable so that's why tertiary alcohols involved in the dehydration very fast so your option should be option 2 so 55 locus reagent reacts fastest with and you already know locus reagent is used to distinguish between the primary secondary and tertiary alcohols isn't it so tertiary alcohols give the turbidity with the locus reagent within the you know minutes within the seconds also but if you take the secondary alcohol secondary alcohol it takes 5 to 10 minutes to give the turbidity but primary alcohols will not give any turbidity at the room temperature so that's why which alcohol react very fast with the locus reagent tertiary alcohol you have to identify which one is the tertiary alcohol among the given options the first one butanol one butanol one butanol means it is a primary alcohol two butanol two butanol means it is a secondary alcohol two butanol means what is the following ch3 ch2 choh and the one is one ch3 two butanol two butanol means which alcohol here secondary alcohol clear one next one Next one is what is going here? Two methyl two propanol. Propanol. Propanol means you know three carbons. Two methyl two propanol means CH3 and OH should be attached to the same carbon atom. Then this is a which alcohol? Tertiary alcohol. So tertiary alcohol will give the very fast reaction with the locus reagent. So that's why and your option should be if you write the fourth option, two methyl one propanol means you have to write this is. CH3 and CH2OH. This is which alcohol? Primary alcohol, this is tertiary and this is secondary. Which alcohol involved in the which alcohol they have very fast with the locus reaction? Tertiary. Clear one? So 56. Option 3 is the correct one for 55. This is 55%. Option 3 is the correct one. That's one 56. If you see the 56, and the following A is what they have given for here? C2H5 and ZBR. C2H5 and ZBR. Then what they have given? Epoxide, ethylene oxide, or we can say epoxide. Clear one? Followed by hydrolysis. What the compound you will get? You know, in this case, get not reason. Always, if I write like this, CH3 and CH2CH. If the bond breaks, get not reason, I'll get to call when there's two charge, negative charge. And you know, in this case, oxygen and carbon, which one is more effective? Because it is a three member ring, three member ring is very, very unstable. So that's why it try to and the relief from the three member means it try to break this bond and convert it into you know a cycle. Uh, it will be it will try to convert it from the cyclic to non cyclic. Clear one? So how it will be? And one of the bond will break. Both are same bond, so it gets the partial negative charge and it gets the partial positive charge. Here this one negative charge attack here this bond will go towards the oxygen and then what the compound you will get you see what is the compound you will get you see here CH3 and here CH2 and here CH2 is attached to CH2 this is attached to CH2 and O minus here Mg plus OMG Br then what you have to do hydrolysis do the hydrolysis it's and OH then what you are getting? CH3, CH2, CH2, CH2. OH, is the answer. Clear one? So your option should be option 2 is the option 2 is the correct one. Clear one? So this is about question number 56 and question number 57. Phenol and the react with clear one? So it is phenol react with K2, yes, A, sorry, yes, 2, O, A. K2, yes, 2, O, A. In the presence of OH. Clear one? So this is, and you know, this compound is a peroxo compound. Clear one? And you know, potassium di peroxo compound. Clear one? So that's why, what is the option here? And it will be converted into, and this is OH and OH. This is the one of the group which is used to introduce the another one OH group on the benzene ring. So what you will get one here? You will get the pa para benzene diode. Option 2 is the benzene diodes. Para benzene diodes. Clear one? 57. 2 is the correct one. Clear one? Next one. What is the 58? Consider the following reaction. First one. Phenol. 
what they have given me here? Phenol. And phenol reacted with zinc dust. What is the reaction? Phenol reacts with zinc dust. Zinc will remove the oxygen and will be phenol will be converted into benzene. When benzene is treated with CH3ClM, AL, Cl3, what is the reaction? Man? Product of alkylation, you will get what it is man? toline. And toline treated with alcoholic KMnO4. KMnO4 is a powerful oxidizing agent. It oxidizes the CH3 into CO4. So this is what? So what is the action man here? Benzoic acid. Next one. Phenol is heated with thalic anhydride. In the presence of concentrated HPSO4, the product gives pink color with alkali. The product is phenolphthalein. What is the one one? Phenolphthalein. Thalic anhydride. What is the thalic anhydride formula? So this is thalic anhydride formula. CW1 O and this is O. Clear one? Here, two moles of the phenol. How many moles of the phenol are here? Two moles of the phenol will react with thalic anhydride. Clear one? Thalic anhydride. Clear one in the presence of what it is? Acidic medium, H2 so SO4. Then water molecule will be removed. Means attack the HPS at which position? Para position. Clear one? Because para position is more reactive. So that's why at the para position reaction takes place. Then we will get the compound here is C double bond O. And here there will be a O. <coughs> here there is phenol, one phenol. Clear one? So this is one phenol and this is another phenol. So this would be called as a phenolphthalein. Clear one? So your option should be what it is in here? Phenolphthalein. So last question, question number 60. You already know well known reaction this is. Phenol is reacted with chloroform and alcoholic cavities when salicylate is the product. What is the name of this reaction? Which one is what is the name? Rimer-Timer reaction. So these are about the solutions for your cumulative exam.